All right, welcome back guys. As you can tell from the title, I have finally bought a hobby compressor and we got this one right here. This is the Master Master Airbrush Cool Runner Professional and I found it on Amazon. I'm showing I want to show you where it is on Amazon. So this is what it looks like on Amazon. It is the uh TC40T. T stands for tank. They have another one, TC40 with no tank, and this one with a three liter tank. And, uh, you know, it looks huge in the picture, doesn't it? But it's it's small. And it was like the Amazon choice. Um, and I've had it on the list for a while. Finally just picked it up. But it comes in this box, the totally undescript box, completely white all the way around. You wouldn't know what was in it if it didn't have this one little tiny tag in there on there anyway we're gonna take it out of the box and hook it up and see if it works and I've got the uh, I've never airbrushed before but this is one that I got from Todd H I think we, we traded I, it was like a kit for a, a couple of kits for an airbrush I think it was but um, I have that airbrush I've never airbrushed but we're gonna hook it up to it and maybe just kind of spray some air just to make sure the thing works so let's get it out of the box Okay, and there it is. I must say it is adorable. It's like on the, I don't know, kind of the bigger side of adorable. It's it's big for a little hobby. Let me show you exactly, well, it's like, there's my hand. That's how big it is. And I'm average size, by the way. But um, for an, uh, another example, like there's my main compressor that I run like my air tools off of. Let me show you. Let me put it next to there. Oh yeah, another thing got this neat little carry handle on the top. That's nice. Let's go put this over there. Okay. So there's a look at how big it is. It's um, cute. <laughs> cute, but big for cute something. Anyway, so let's take a look around it. Over here we have the pressure gauge, which still has its plastic on it. And we'll get that off of there. And of course it won't come off quickly. But we all know what that is. There's the regulator right there. And your water separator. And then of course your drain plug to um, discharge the tank if you want to. And then we've got these two little things here and we've got these two little things here these two little things must go into these two little things I can imagine these are possibly airbrush holders that's a guess but I'll confirm that in a moment uh, so anyway there's just a quick look at it uh, oh, okay just a pipe to the tank to feed the tank and so the idea of having a separate tank is probably so that it will go longer between um, cycles or you'll be able to spray, um, um, this, what do you call it, more volume. Here are the specs. For anybody who's wanting to know the specs, I'm new to airbrushing, I don't know what all this means, so there you go. Anyway, let me plug it in for the first time and see what happens. Okay guys, so get ready to be disappointed. I mean, I haven't turned it on yet. That's not going to be the disappointment. But I'm having a mismatch on hoses and fittings. And what, well, I'll just explain what's happened. So the hose that came with the machine is this one. It's a real nice hose. I just got it wrapped, I just got it wrapped around the machine. And uh, I don't know exactly what size it is, but I think it's quarter inch. So I've got quarter inch ends that are identical on both sides that came with the machine. And now the airbrush that I have, I have this Pache, or Pash, or Posh, however anybody wants to say it. And it has a smaller connector. It's got this tiny little one right here, and this tiny little inlet right here. And um, that quarter inch does not fit onto there. This one fits onto there. This is the hose that came with the airbrush, but the other end of it is gigantic for like a big compressor. In fact, it's so big 
I have to say that's probably half inch that it was actually taking my quick connector studs. I, I tested this airbrush one time, just blowing air on my big compressor over there. So I have the ability to connect that hose to that quick connector and just uh, run it like an air tool and just regulate the, the air way down on that one. And uh, I could airbrush off of that one, but I want a dedicated compressor in my shed so that I can airbrush in my new um, spray booth. So I have an issue. I have to go buy an adapter, I guess, because there's no way to actually hook this up today. Yeah. But what I can do is, yeah, so uh, in the instructions here it's saying, usually our air compressor out, out, outlet is an eighth inch. If you want a quarter inch, you can get an adapter, but I think this one came with a quarter inch. This is the book that came with this new compressor. This particular time, it's a big one. So what I can do, I mean, I can turn it on. I've got it plugged in. This will be the first time I turn it on, but with nothing on the other end, it's going to just kind of blow a little air as it's trying to fill. So, you know, let's do it. There it goes. Nice and quiet. It's of course never going to get up to pressure because the end is open. And that is it. Never going to get up to pressure. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to get into airbrushing and down the road once I have my booth all set up and have this all set up under the booth and all that I'll give a better example of how this thing operates it'll be a part two this was part one the unboxing and the look at it so stay tuned for part two and I appreciate you watching and I'll get my adapters <laughs> and we'll make this work right so see you next time guys thanks for watching